Hi there, everyone. My name is Chelsea Ferrar. I'm the Curator of Community Engagement at the University of Arizona Museum of Art. Uh, and I am going to be making some videos, since our museum is closed, uh, bringing art sprouts uh, to your house. So this is University of Arizona Museum of Art, Art Sprouts, the home edition. Uh, for our first uh, edition, I'm going to be bringing out one of our most popular art activities, which is the drawing robot. Now, when we would do this in the museum, we'd have a lot of really cool resources available. And many of you might not have these available in your home. And those are like some big plastic gears, wooden dowels, the plastic pieces that allow us to connect those wooden dowels to the gears. Uh, you probably have masking tape, you probably have some cups, and hopefully if you've got little kiddos, you've got some color markers around. Um, the, the other thing that you might not think that you have is the, the essential part that makes the robot go is a 1.5 volt battery or motor. Um, but the cool thing is, is that if you have an electric toothbrush at home, you can do some fun science and engineering and deconstruct that toothbrush and it probably has one of these motors inside. So that's the first step. All right, and here to help me uh, build our robot is um, my art assistant, Elliot Burke Farrar. Elliot, say hi. Hello. Fantastic. And we have sourced some random materials from our backyard and our house and Elliot's art supplies uh, to make a drawing robot. So hopefully some of these things you might be able to find around your house or you'll have some other really cool things that you find. Essentially, what you're going to need is the cup, the tape, the motor that you took out of your toothbrush with parental permission, right? Uh, and uh, markers. Uh, and then you'll need a power source, right? So usually a uh, AA battery is what will power the 1.5 volt battery. Um, and then what makes the robot move and move in really fun ways is by experimenting with the balance, how things are balanced from one side to the next, where you place heavy materials taped onto the, um, onto the cup. Um, and then also some really fun things for decoration. So we have just found some sticks from our backyard, some shells, some rocks, some grass, uh, and some fun bottle caps. Um, so let's see what we can create. So we have assembled our robot with uh, like a leftover yogurt cup, our uh, motor, our battery, our markers that we scavenged from the house and lots and lots of tape. Uh, so yes. we are pre-decoration phase and this is essentially our prototype uh, robot that we've done some trial and error to see about how balance affects how it moves, how it vibrates, uh, and which colors, which legs actually touch the ground more. Uh, so one thing that you'll notice that we did is we added a little bit of modeling clay to the top of the motor, um, and you'll see how that changes the balance and affects how Elliot's robot moves. All right, Elliot, you ready to give it a try? Yep. Yay! All right. Last step is you have to name your robot. What's this robot's name? Doodle. Doodle Robot. All right, that's us. That's it from us at our Art Sprouts Home Edition, and uh, we'll see you with our next video.